What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. So actually a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about how to create a typography effect out of a template with like really, really quick as such a like kind of as an opener. But in this video, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to actually go and create a typography text effect. And on top of that is that we're going to actually not use any kind of templates, how you can create, for example, a name that's like, you know, appearing in the bottom left corner or something like that or an opener for your short movie whatever you guys are doing with your project when it comes to text and like all of these really really cool stuff if you guys are excited make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's get started creating this really really cool time on text effects right after the intro All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. I just opened up a blank project because we're going to actually start from scratch. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Production Grade for this. Now, for the people that are new watching this video, Production Grade is a website that I've been using for almost three years now that provides you explosions, sound effects, music, everything like that completely for free. There is also a pro membership that you can get for like more, you know, exclusive stuff. But right now, we're going to use an effect and we need the assets for, of course, like the animations and all that. But of course, they are free. So right now we are on the website footagegrade.com and of course I signed in with an account where I don't have any membership. I just create an account. I didn't pay for anything. No subscription is running on this account. So I can show you guys exactly that you can just sign up an account for free and then you can just go into your downloads and manage everything like that and that you can download these assets without paying for anything because of course not everything is paid on the website. So right now what we're going to do in the search bar at the top, we're going to type in typography. Right here we have all kinds of letters that we can choose from from now the first thing is like what are we going to create are we going to create a name for in the bottom left corner are we going to create like a like a short movie opener or anything like that so the cool thing is that right now we have for example inferno meaning that we have like burning letters so if you click on here as you can see we have all kinds of letters such as verses numbers we have for example the end right here we have letters we have the whole thing so right now of course you can actually go and create for example a name or any word for example welcome or anything like that so for this video I'm going to create a lower third in my name in the bottom left corner style. So what we're going to do is first of all, I'm not really too keen on using these flame ladders because it actually has to suit the channel or suit the video. So right now I would think to make something really, really cool. For example, these light ones or these neon lights look very, very nice. So if I click on here, we don't only have letters. We have like click and subscribe live on air. Thanks for watching. We have on air subscribe. We have error. We have the end uh, like another subscribe. We have level up. We have this peace sign the end with an error we have go 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 once upon a time we have like all kinds of letters as well and of course the like the options are endless we can even change the colors in vegas pro afterwards we download it okay so right now what i'm gonna do is i just signed into an account as you can notice at the very top where is no subscription because right here it says pro upgrade and, and pro upgrade with the credit card or debit or paypal so nothing is running on this account so right now we can start downloading straight away so i'm gonna start off with just using the word alex as my name as a lower third so we're gonna click on the letter a to download it and as you can see right here it just says download hd file we don't need to upgrade for anything like that to download this so right now we have all kinds of formats that we can choose from now what are the kinds that we actually need because right here it says mov png codec meaning that mov is going to be a file that you are able to remove the black background and the png codec basically means that it's transparent so you just only have to just adjust one little setting that every version of vegas pro has and that you don't need to use a chroma key for example we have a png sequence meaning that we can also download this as an image for example if i play this back right here you can download a photo like this one an mp4 one with a matte background that you can green screen out and we have apple pro rest but i'm going to pick the mov png kodak because that one is the easiest to work with so i'm going to click on download hd file and then it's going to straight download it so right now i downloaded the letter a so now we can move on to the second letter which is of course the l so i'm going to open that one up in a new tab so right now i'm going to also download the l in mov png codec which is 19 megabytes so i'm going to click on download hd file that one is also downloading then we're going to go back so then we're going to go move on to the third letter which is going to be the e i'm going to click on here download hd file and then we're going to also do that for the last letter which is going to be the x from alex okay so now that we've downloaded everything let's go back to vegas and let's drag in these four files that we just downloaded so we're going to just quickly sort them by the right order so we're going to start off with the 
A right here. Then we're going to go move on to the L. Then we're going to go position the E right after it and then the X. Now, of course, if you're going to play it back just like this, it's going to play per animation. And we don't want that. We want to have like the letters play all at the same time. So first of all, how do we actually remove the black background? So I'm going to first drag in a solid color so you guys can clearly see how it looks and how to remove the black background. So right now, as you can see, if I drag in the red color underneath it, we cannot see through the image. Now, we don't need to, like I said, drag in a black green screen or chroma key. We're going to just right click on the clip. Then we're going to hit properties at the very bottom. Then we're going to go to the media tab right here. And you want to place the alpha channel from none to straight unmatted. Now, if I go and click on OK, as you can see what happens to the previous screen, it becomes nice and transparent. And we're going to also do that for the other remaining three letters. So I'm going to place this one to straight unmatted. Go to the letter E, straight unmatted. All right, cool. So now if I drag in this solid color a little bit further, right now, all these letters are completely transparent. So now it's only just a matter of placing them next to each other and time them. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to create a new video track per actual letter. I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to make a couple video tracks for each letter. So we have the L underneath it, the E right here, and then we have the X underneath it. Now, if I go and actually play it back, this is what it looks like. It's going to play per animation. And we don't want that. We want to actually have all these letters playing at the same time. So now we're going to also just place them underneath each other, just like that, that they're all playing at the same time. But as you can see right now, all four letters are playing over each other. So first, we're going to actually go and resize the first letter. So I'm going to click on this icon, which says the track motion, the white one. And then we're going to resize this letter A just like that. And we're going to also make sure that we will also stay centered. So I'm going to drag my letter a little bit to the left. And then we're going to make sure that the letter Y is on zero, because if you place it on zero, as you can see, it gets centered vertically. And then we're going to do that also for the next ones. So right here, we have the L or we, what we can do is we can just duplicate, for example, this A letter, and then we can just delete the letter and then we can place the L underneath it. So the L is on the same place. And then we just only have to go and go to the track motion icon of the L and then we have to place it a little bit to the right next to each other like that. Make sure that the Y is also on zero. So that is nice and centered vertically. And we're going to repeat that for the remaining two letters. So we're going to right click, duplicate this one. I'm going to place this guy right here away from it. All right, guys. So it's actually a couple minutes later. I managed to, you know, put all the letters next to each other. So if I lower the opacity of the A, it's all separately like this. So if I play it back without the solid color, if I move it out of the way right now, it's looking black and it's going to flash and it's going to make these letters light up. It's really, really cool. And this is a way how you can create this really, really cool typography text. But the thing is that it's not really typography because they're all moving at the same time. It would be a little bit nicer if we would make, for example, the letters start a little bit later, you know, stretch these letters a little bit further. And let's see how it looks like if they're starting a little bit after each other. It looks really, really cool. But the thing is that we're going to also play with the length of each letter just a little bit, just to make sure that they're all appearing when they're starting to flash. So we right here we have as you can see like this looks really really cool but right here we have a little glitch as you can see it turns on and then it turns off really really quickly and then back on so it would be nice if we would have like the e appear right here when it is dark and appearing like that and then we can also make sure to let the x appear right here so let's play it back as you can see, that looks really, really cool. And this is how you can create a really nice, you know, animated, you know, typography text effect. And of course, you can also change like the color of the text. So it has like this little blue shade. So if you want to have it, for example, red or orange or purple or green, you can go to the video effects tab and you can go to the color corrector secondary. We're going to drag on the default onto the letter A. And now what we're going to do is we are going to mess with the rotation hue, the very top marker. So if I play it back and if I just do it like this, right now the color is going to change so right now we have like green we have like this little turquoise color and then we also have for example the purple one or a more to a red kind of shape so we can also have like different colors per letter that would also look nice so let's go and drag it to here then we're going to drag on the secondary color corrector onto the letter l and then we're going to move on this letter as well this color we can also make it for example green then we're going to drag on the default onto the third letter which is the e then we're going to also make that one a different color. Let's say that we're going to pick this one orange. And then the last one is we're going to place a secondary color corrector on the X. And then we're going to also make 
make that color a little differently. Let's say, for example, just regular blue, how it looked like at the beginning. So right now, if I play it back, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. And you can also make sure to animate your clips, for example, again, by if you go and take a little clip of where the letter was actually dark, if you cut it right here, so we have a little frame of where the letter is off and not lighted up, you can actually go and, and copy this. So if I solo this track for a second that we only see the A, we can actually, you know, manipulate and make these letters, you know, flash from dark to bright again, as you can see if I do it like this. Because right now, this is not usually how the, how the file was downloaded, but right now this is what it looks like and how you can create these really, really quick flashes, for example, like these glitches. So if I play it back and if I do it like this, I can also make sure to go and grab the first beginning of when the L was dark and we can place it, for example, a couple times after each other like this and also for the E, which is of course turned off right here. Go and copy and paste this one and let's place it a little bit over each other like that and also for the x so we can really create this static kind of look and it's really nice that you can like manipulate all these single letters with the glitchy so this is what it looks like if i paste the x dark one a little bit over it as well so right now we can actually choose how much it flashes as you can see like that, it looks a little bit like a neon sign. And it's really, really nice how you can create this totally custom. You can use different words, you can use different colors, different animations, and you can also make text appear. For example, if you add in a transition. So let's say that we're going to add in a crossfade to the beginning of the letter A right here like that. So it's fading in as you notice right there. So now we can also go, for example, to the transitions tab. We can just drag in any transition that we want. So of course, if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, you have many different standard stock transitions to choose from. Let's say a dissolve. If I drag on that onto the fade, this is what it looks like. The A actually just fades in. It's really, really handy how you can do this. How do you get this entire word into your project because you're not going to copy and paste all of these separate clips so you're just going to render out the entire file so now we're going to just go and select everything that we just made and we want to make sure that we will render it out in a transparent format actually the same transparent format that we downloaded these letters in so we're going to go to file at the top and then we're going to hit render as and then we're going to make sure that we will pick quicktime 7 and then we're going to click on transparent render settings because this is my preset but if you don't have these settings set up yet to render transparently without any background make sure to check out this video in the little card that will take you to the video how to render out videos in transparently without any background so if i just call this for example typography alex lower third i can just go and click on render for on my desktop and now we can just drag in a random clip for example of an intro that i'll show you guys right now also how to use it and position it so right now we're going to just wait a couple seconds until this is finished exporting all right guys so as you can see right now we have my clip that i just exported right now in my project so i also have a clip from an intro that i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it so right now we're going to actually create a new video track so we're going to right click on here and then we're going to insert the video track and and then we're going to also place this lower third on top of the video. And then we're going to click on the audio and press U on our keyboard that we actually separated. So we don't need audio because there isn't any. So now that we have done that right now, as you can see, this is my introduction. And now I can just go and place my lower third text over it. But now, as you can see, it is still black in the background. And that's why we also need to do the same as we did at the beginning of the video. So we're going to right click and we're going to hit properties. Then we're going to click on the media tab. And right here, it says alpha channel. So we're going to click on straight unmatted. And if I click on OK, it becomes completely transparent. So now the only thing that we need to do, guys, is just go to the track motion icon of the text. And then we just need to position it. Where do we want it? You can place it on the bottom left corner corner just like this and if I play it back as you can see right now this is what it looks like right now we have our text appearing looks really really cool and this is how you can create any kind of typography intro or like text for your short movie or for your YouTube video uh, whatever it might be that you guys are working on this is really really cool how you can do it and there's nothing more to it when it comes to like making it transparent animating and all that and it's really really simple and that's how to do it all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create this really really cool typography text effect in vegas pro 18 now you guys can start using for example these really really cool you know lower thirds effects in the bottom left corner or an opener like i said in the intro
intro, whatever you guys need. This is a really cool effect you guys can implement into your project. So if this video was helpful, make sure to reward it with a like down below. Also subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And if you want to see more of these video editing tutorials about any kind of software such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Movavi, Filmora, you name it, we have it all on the channel. So thanks a lot for the support and I'll see you guys obviously in the next one. Thank you.